good day guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm back with another dragon's dogma video today and in today's video i'm going to show you how to hunt find and kill the griffins one of the most frustrating tasks in dragon's dogma is getting these griffins to appear so there's a couple of prerequisites you've got to do to get them to repair appear First, you've got to get this little cutscene happening right here where the uh, caravan is being attacked by goblins and it's ablaze. And you'll see the griffin flying from over Grand Soren over there. Um, it is possible to kill the griffin here if you're extremely high leveled and not on hard mode like I am. Um, but it'll normally attack and it will fly off. Best tactic I've found using against these uh, griffins is using a ranged attack um, with the strider or ranger or magical archer and using oil arrows and blast arrows to get the wings ablaze to keep it grounded. Uh, this one normally flies away. See I've caught with it in oil there and I'm going to switch to the blast arrow to try and blaze it. But unless you can get all that health down really quickly, and it's weak to fire, so you see how quickly it gets damaged. So you've got to be a really, really high level. Right, it will fly off, then you've got to progress with the story until you get to this part. With, um, inside the Duke's dom domain, inside the uh, Grand Hall with Aldous. And Aldous will give you a charge where he's I've got the elites to gather you. Accept this quest and then go ambush the Griffin um, with the elites outside of Grand Soren. And you've got to do these two prerequisites before you can even get the Griffin to a spawn or appear anywhere on the map. Um, and it is possible to kill it before. Um, it goes to the Blue Moon Tower, which I'll show you that in the next clip. So, listen to his quest, you know, and he, he goes on, blah, 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 blah. And then go ambush it with the soldiers here and go and bait it down with a goblin, which is another method for getting griffins to appear. This does work um, when you are trying to get them appear, running around with a goblin. And you'll see it fly over the mountain here. And you can kill this griffin here. You can uh, lower it down, soak it in oil, and then set it ablaze and stop it from escaping. And it's uh, using blast arrows or fire magic, or, you know, it be really, really, really easy to kill it fast, which you'll see here. It will try and fly away. You've soaked it in oil and get a blast arrow on it. As, uh, I forgot that. Blast arrow, yeah. So we'll get a blast arrow on it. It'll set on fire. It'll flap around like a lunatic. Crash down to the ground. Kill it. And, uh, just, yeah, just absolutely lay waste to it here. You see it's health going down really, really, really quickly. Right. Once you've done that, go loot your rewards and I'll show you now how to get it and where to get it. So the first one is going to be the eradication site in South uh, Grancis, um, not too far from the Witchwood. So you can get there easily by the Devilfire's Grove uh, encampment, kill all the oxen, just run around and kill all the ox and you'll get the message, look master griffin and then you'll see it just fly in. There it is, up there. Same tactic again, soak it in oil and uh, yeah, lay waste to it. You've got to be careful though because they can just grab the ox or the goblin and just fly off. So you've got to be pretty quick and uh, try and keep it grounded. And you can get like the uh, screamy shot, I think it is, which works really well with. Uh, Blind arrows and oil arrow, oil arrows. <laughs> it got tongue tied then. Yeah, and uh, I forgot to get the blast going. So there we go. Get the blast going on it. Oh, the fire magic. Drop that one dead. Next location again is 
um, South Central, uh, South uh, Grancis. Next one's going to be Central Grancis in the Eastern Plains. Again, this Griffin is very, very difficult to capture because it will grab and fly. And it can take you up in the air and kill you. I mean, I'll show you that in the video in a minute. So I'll drop down here and uh, attack it as quickly as you can. I forgot to quit my oil arrows and uh, my blast arrows for a, for a minute. But it will try and fly away. Just be relentless. Keep agitating it with, with magic or arrows. And it will start swooping around. And, you know, it will come for you. If your part is heavily armoured... It might not, but this can happen. It can swoop down, pin you to the floor, and if you can't get away fast enough, it takes you all the way up in the air and then drops you. And uh, I well thought I was going to die then because I'm on hard mode, so I was like, shit. <laughs> but yeah, it, it will then try and grab the ox, see it? And it will try and fly away, just keep agitating it and it will drop the ox and then it will come back for you and uh, this can be quite a frustrating one so it will keep just flying in that massive circle trying to attack ox and get its get its dinner and run it's trying to eat and run and uh, make sure you soak it in oil it makes the whole process a lot easier which I forgot to do until like right at the end of the fight Right, so this is the location, just outside uh, Grand Sorum, and it's near the pond where the harpies normally flap about. But you know, in this this area here, it's got massive flight circle. So next, teleport to the Northern Fortress in the Northern Forest. And if you run straight up until you hit the harpies, you'll you'll hear them and see them flying around the snow harpies. There they are. And then you want to make a quick left and run straight up, um, almost to the dragon forged guy. You know, it's near his hut, right up here. There it is. So run around this area, and you won't have to do much of anything. It will just appear near the goblin cages. And uh, again, get the oil arrows on it, get your blast arrows on it, and uh, fight it for dear life. Knock it out of the sky, uh, set it on fire. Again, it'll flap about, it'll try and fly off, and then it'll crash, and then just lay waste to it. Okay, location, hill figure null at the top, near the Dragonforge guy, near these cliffs. It will circle this area where I'm highlighting. And that's about it. I'm on hard mode, so I don't know if that makes any difference to how often they appear. But you've got to rest every three to five days. Um, I usually go seven. So location one. Location two. And location three. I've marked them all down on the map for you there. So, that's about it. The third location will fly up here. But again, that's about it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video real soon.